moment do you pick up the Jewish newspaper or magazine? Well, in an age where digital media is attracting huge audiences, how do Jewish print publications stay fresh and relevant? One key factor is there has been a significant increase in the number of Jewish print publications available, as Anthony Clavan explains. Now, it's interesting because there's the Jewish Telegraph, which is in Leeds, Manchester and London, uh, and there are uh, other papers like, obviously, the Jewish Chronicle and the Jewish News, and there are so many magazines. I've lost count now. And when I was a kid growing up in Leeds, in a big Jewish community, we had one paper. So it's completely different today. I think especially the role of a Jewish newspaper is to retain that sense of, literally, community, giving people a sense of kind of ownership and a sense of identity. I think the most important thing for me is that we're there for every single Jewish reader. The Jewish readers that go to synagogue every day, every week, the ones that only keep uh, Shabbat or only keep Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and the ones that have no contact with the community other than to read the Jewish news every week. And quarterly publications are proving popular for mature readers. In a tough economic climate, Janet Levin, editor of Jewish Renaissance, believes unique content is key. We feature a different community each issue, you know, about 16 to 20 pages on one community anywhere in the world. So we've done, well, we've been as far as Uzbekistan, we've been to Morocco, to South Africa. We always cover the history of the Jewish community there, um, but also we have a lot of personal stories, and that's what people like. They can relate to that. And I thought there was a market gap. You know, there was the, the um, Jewish Chronicle, which is a weekly, and there's a more um, highbrow magazine than we are. But there was nothing... It, uh, what we do wasn't covered at all. Um, and it's been very popular. Keeping up to date with readers is also a challenge. Richard Ferrer, editor of the Jewish News, told JM1 about the paper's recent redesign. It's the first proper facelift for the paper in six or seven years. We've given it a lot fresher feel, different fonts, typefaces. And it goes hand in hand with our new website, jewishnews.co.uk. The power of a new site like this is really it gives us a potential worldwide reach uh, and getting, you know, authoritative, um, important bloggers um, to kind of engage and send out our stuff uh, and get other people involved is kind of really quite important and it opens it's a brand new audience for, for us. We have a uh, video sharing agreement with Jewish News One which uh, I was particularly pleased about because I think that you know on a modern internet page especially for news people like to have um, you know uh, rich content and video uh, to go behind the story. Recognised Jewish writers like Anthony Clavan attribute the growing popularity of Jewish publications to a change in attitudes. The big shift that's taken place is that I don't think there are that many more Jewish writers, but now Jewish writers like me are writing about being Jewish. For example, my book, Does Your Rabbi Know You're Here? It's about Jewish football. It's about being Jewish in English football. But you've got David Conn, who writes for The Guardian. He's written a book about Manchester City and are growing up. He grew up in a Jewish uh, community and he talks about that. Colin Schindler, another Manchester City fan, has written a book, two books, about that. And with reports of an increase in circulation, there is clearly a significant demand. So clearly Jewish print publications continue to have huge significance in the community, acting as a voice or simply a friend for many. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.